Hey guys, it's me again. Back out here in the lovely Fairmont Park. I'm gonna kind of pan around so you guys can see what's behind me and such. And uh, kind of an interesting topic for you guys today. The topic is glove tan. And any of you riders will know what I'm talking about, but for those of you who don't know, let me show you what I'm talking about. See that tan line? Nice white hand, followed by tan arm. It's on both hands. Focus here. There you go. So you can kind of see that. Now, glove tan is something that only bikers get. And uh, really, it comes from having gloves on so much, from riding the bike so much, that you get tanned on your arms but not on your hands. And there's only two real ways to fix that wear sleeves or don't wear gloves. But there's quite a few people, squids, whatever you want to call them, like me, that wear a vest and gloves. So we got this glove tan. And it got me to thinking about biker lifestyle. The way that bikers, riders, live and the way we do things. Uh, I don't know, there is a certain kind of zen. And uh, I think Accidental Broadcast talked about it a while back. About just the, the zen of being on a motorcycle. And it does exist. Most of you riders will be able to understand when I say there is a certain peace to be found on a bike that you don't find in a car or on a boat or in a plane or whatever. There is something about being on two wheels that calms you down. That just helps you clear your head. And there's a quote that I can't recall it verbatim, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause right here, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen, so put it up on the screen. But, uh, okay, basically, the way it works is when I get on a bike, I am removed from the responsibilities of time. I don't have to think about where I was, I don't really have to think about where I'm going, I just kind of think about what I'm doing, where I'm at right now. A motorcycle safety course will teach you the 4, 8, 12, that you should have a plan for the next 4, 8, and 12 seconds so you know how to ev evade obstacles. But other than that, you kind of get to let go. You can't check your phone, you can't check your watch, you kind of just exist in that moment for as long as you're on the bike and that can be incredibly freeing I mean you can you can let go of whatever dramas going on in your life whatever problems you have at home the stressful day you had at work bills whatever it is you kind of just forget that and focus on the ride and you can drive a car and you still have that I don't know, there's a sense of comfort, there's a sense of not really disconnecting from everything when you're in a car. You still can talk to the passengers, you can listen to the radio, you can do all that. On a bike, you really tune out. You tune out of everything and you're just kind of focused on exactly what it is you're doing and it forces you to let go of some stupid stuff you are holding on to. For me, that's one of the, the great draws to riding a bike. That's why I don't really feel like investing in a car, you know what I mean? There's, there's so much to be said for having a way to be free of all the BS that you're dealing with. That's not to say that that stuff goes away. It's still waiting for you when you put the kickstand down. But the ability to escape is the major draw to motorcycles. The ability to break out of the conformity of worrying about your schedule and this meeting you have planned or this bill that has to be paid, certain dates. When you're on a bike, none of it matters. I mean, there are some times when you gotta rush and you gotta get to work and you gotta do these things at this time, but for the most part, when you get on the road, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. There, me and a my club president traveled to Reedley, California, which is north of where I am. And uh, 
trip's supposed to take like six hours or something. You have the adventures on the road that slow you down. My bike broke down, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure I'll tell that story, the Mojave Desert story. I put that there so I could put a link there. <laughs> uh, no, there, there will be obstacles. And the great thing about being on a bike is that if you have to postpone something or push something back, it's fluid. That's really, time is so fluid on a bike where it's not in a car. I mean, the car has a cam, uh, not a camera, a clock built into the dashboard, so you never lose track of time. With the motorcycle, you just get to shut off. You get to just focus on being alive and feeling the things around you, the wind on your face, the sun coming in through the lens of your helmet, the, the squeeze of your passenger grabbing onto you when you speed up, that roll of the throttle, the acceleration, the dip into the turn. You get to just focus and feel all that. And for me, that is what biker zen is that's what we have that other people don't is this meditation period whenever we get on that bike so i think i'm gonna cut off there i just kind of felt like sharing that i was out cruising doing some meeting stuff and i figured i would come out to the park hey look ducks it's a good way to pan out here we go You can see those cool ducks. Fairmont Park has a lot of ducks. And they're really cool. They'll come, they'll come right up and eat out of your hand and all that kind of stuff. Anyway. I don't know. That's, that's, I think that's all I've got to share for today. But I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Appreciate you watching.